Late season buck hunting for whitetail deer. I'm Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and in this video, I'm going to talk about hunting for whitetail buck in the late season. Now, just the other day, I released a video on rattling and how to rattle in the late season, and I mentioned a tip in there when it comes to grunt. So basically, in the late season, you really just want to save your calls for that peak moment where you might have the best chance of a deer moving through. This is a hunt on New Year's Eve. We had sleet, freezing rain, snow on the ground, high winds, and it was it was kind of nasty conditions. There was no deer moving at all. I was sitting there for a couple hours and I waited till the last 20 minutes of daylight. I let out two grunts. I made a grunt in one direction, waited a few seconds, made a grunt in another direction and then when I looked back to the first I didn't see anything by the time I looked back to the second the deer was already coming in let me show you a little bit of the footage and then I want to talk about what happened here why this worked and how you can apply these same ideas in one of your hunts Okay, here's the thought process behind what I did in this situation. Late season, deer either respond to the calling or they don't in most of my experiences. They're, they're not iffy anymore. They're either really spooked by anything or in, in like in this situation, they, they want to see, is that a hot doe? I got to go check this out. Now, this was a young buck, so it wasn't what I was interested in harvesting for this. But this does happen even for older bucks if they're responsive. But what I've come to learn is just save your calling for the peak moment when it has the highest possibility of working. I sat in this cold, windy weather for hours, soaking wet, and I waited till the last 20 minutes before I let out my calls. And even when I called, I only called two times. The reason why this is important is, one, if you call too much, you give away your spot, it spooks the deer, they, they're onto your spot, and you're basically ruining it for other hunts. And as you can see, in this situation, the deer responded pretty much immediately after I called. It was within 100 yards of me, not necessarily coming my way, but when it heard the call, it wanted to come investigate what was going on. By only calling two times, I didn't give the deer a good opportunity to really pinpoint my location. So he came in from an uphill side of me. He was also upwind of me. He kind of came in down the hill toward me and then cut across the hill looking for the deer and then he cut and he was trying to circle around and actually circled around on the downwind side of a field off to the side of where I was at. So he was working in a way, he, he came across that that wide open snowy area it's actually a grass field that you know was covered with snow and then he hopped another fence to go on the edge of another like hay field and he was basically getting on the downwind side of the hay field to try to smell if there were any deer out in it because it was a really large field compared to what I was sitting next to so by calling only two times the deer was not able to pinpoint my location came in curiously trying to find the other deer was looking 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 for it if you call too much, it can pinpoint your location, circle downwind of where you're at, and it could ruin the hunt for you, especially when they're really skittish in the late season. So in conclusion, in the late season, my favorite call to use is the grunt call. I will prefer that over any other call that's available. And I use it very, very sparingly. So if you're one of those hunters that gets bored out there and starts pulling out your calls, just realize when it comes to the late season, you have to be super selective and very minimal with your calling. Save it for the peak moment where you think the deer might be moving through the area, but just not in your lap at that moment. And give a little shout out, see if they'll come in. Soft, sparingly, and you just might have a chance. I'm Sean McVeigh, Sean's Outdoor Adventures. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Until next time, take care and God bless you.